Boys, I am not a Halloween cocksucker like most white people in America. But seeing as it's only like a month away, I want to finally understand why people like it so much. So today, I'm going to watch one of the scariest videos I could find to see if I actually do enjoy being scared, which I don't. I don't. I already knew that. I do not like being scared. It's not fun for me. I don't like Also, I just released a second channel, which I'm going to be uploading every Saturday on. Uh, some stuff I'm really excited to upload on there. I also got a VOD channel now for any of the people who want to watch the streams but couldn't make it. Uh, they'll all be up there. And of course, this channel where I'm uploading like every three days and we'll continue to do that for as long as possible. So make sure you sub to all of these for all the Kangaroo content and enjoy. The first video we will go over today is known as Tunnel of Terror. The story goes as follows. In 1985, four kids went missing in the state of New York after exploring some sort of sewer drain tunnel. The video that I aim to show you is a clip of what was recovered from the camera after maintenance workers around that area had found the camera within the drain after working on it. What would you do if your kid just disappeared? I would be scarred for life. Having zero idea of what could have possibly happened to my kid, I'm probably gonna crash out too. I feel like in most cases it's the parents' fault whenever their kids go missing, but still, I'm crazy crashing out, crashing out on the police chase. If I'm a kid, I am, by the way. I don't know if you knew that. I am, I'm a small child. I am not doing this. I don't care how many adults are around me. I'm not doing this. I'm not venturing into a sewer with this shit on my back in the middle of the night, especially in 1985. Nothing could happen in 1985. <laughs> Oh, dude, watch there just be a guy. Oh, dude, there's just a fucking corpse on the ground. There's just a dead, there's just a dead mangled body. Just a guy is absolutely macked. There's bites out of him. Stop adding them! I say this a lot, okay? If, if like, when, when people are, like, these traveling, like, people traveling in a place they're not supposed to be, there's so many opportunities to turn around. So many. But, bro, you just saw a pentagon with pictures of people in them. It's one thing to see a pentagon. I don't think a pentagon really means that much. People graffiti shit. It's like seeing a swastika, right? That doesn't mean there's a fucking Nazi out killing Jews. But with literal pictures of people with their eyes bloody, that means somebody put in effort, right? That wasn't just a kid with a spray paint can fucking putting up the first thing that came. That, that was a planned thing. That guy went down there with pictures and tape. Like, as if there wasn't a million signs and reasons and opportunities for you to turn back. The Pentagon? The Pentagon. Do you think we're lost? Oh, no, 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 no. We're good, bro. Don't even worry. It's just, uh, uh, back and then to the, uh... Wait, wait, wait. Did you hear that? No. Hold on. What did you hear? Yep, and they're dead. Dude, this is crazy. These kids were probably my age whenever they did this shit. I would never in a million years do this shit. I don't know a kid. I don't know a friend. I don't know anybody that would do this shit. It is unknown what truly scared those kids that bad to make them react that way. My only assumption would be their eyes playing tricks on them, especially from staring into the darkness for such a long period of time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was doing their eyes playing tricks on them. The whole th them being dead thing and never coming back. That was just thing that they were scared of. It just, it just their mind played tricks on them. This time, no biggie, bro. It definitely wasn't like a person there. Maybe that is also obsessed with pentagons, right? Nah. The next video that I wish to examine with you all is known as Demon Okay, in the really quick. This guy's way too young to be bald. I can see it in his face. This was a choice. I know I'm pausing it and I know it's unrelated. I will never understand people who choose to be bald. What the fuck is the point of that? Why? The video starts off with a man detailing his adventure into an abandoned home, which housed a supposed satanic ritual in the basement. Does this guy also happen to have a history in sewers by chance? Do we know anything about this? No, I'm saying people who shave their head fucking bald. Like people who go razor bald. Low maintenance? Dude, he looks like Mr. Clean. That's not a good, that's not a fair trade-off. What is that? John, what is that? Dude, no. Guys, this smell no. is terrible. I think I'm, guys, I'm gonna throw up. Whoa. Whoa! Does your mind not immediately jump to the idea that there could be a dead body whenever you're, whenever something smells bad? Like that's the sign. Something that smells absolutely repulsive. It's a rotting corpse. <laughs> oh! <laughs> guys, we gotta, we gotta go, man. We gotta go. Well, the fun just started, man. Oh my God! Go, 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 go! 
spawn of Satan happened back there, dude. He came into this world and he came in one of them's face. And it was like, it was like being doused in, in, in the in the bomb beyond insanity. Straight into the eyes. Get off of me. He screamed, get off of me, bro. That is, that is fucking terrifying. Not only does this clip give me chills, as the group had stumbled upon a creature that seems to have been spawned from the literal depths of hell. Okay, I don't think it was a creature. I think we can all understand that it was definitely a guy. Okay, there's not some fucking ravenous, one-off creature beast species. Was it clinging onto him, not being able to get help from his friends who leave him, as they too fear what's chasing after him. They left Choose him behind? Oh, no, 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 I don't care how scared I am. I don't care if my life is on the line. If I go in to an abandoned house with three of my friends, I am either leaving with three of my friends or I'm not leaving. There is no way. I'm just gonna leave my friend there. That being said, I'm gonna be 100% honest. If I was put in that situation, I'd probably run away and pee my pants like a little bitch. It's really easy for me to say that in my comfy little room. I do wonder if the people in this video are cursed by what they have witnessed. Mark, yeah, they definitely had a spell cast really cast on encounter. Them. This video includes a group of friends who are messing around and doing old feces in a bag prank, but they leave it on an old man's doorstep and set it on fire. Not only is this prank dangerous, it's also incredibly stupid, as you're simply inconvenient. Are you fucking kidding me? This was at a time before they even had social media, so they literally just did this for the fuck of it. They put shit in a bag and lit it on fire for the fuck of it. Not even to post it, just to laugh at. Got it! <laughs> oh, good one, dude. Oh, throw it at your friend. It's a steamer. It's a steamer. Ah, oh, it's a steamer. Yeah, I hope he comes out with a, with a 12 gauge and blows his fucking brain off. So, dude, the car comes by. He's just gone. Dude, how much does he have in the chamber? <laughs> shit, come on! Come on, come on, come on, dude! You gotta flip! Oh, shit! Okay, okay, okay! Oh, it's gonna be, Ooh, it's gonna be it's so skimmy! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh. Run! Yeah, that would have been really easy to stop, too, now that I think about it. They did not have to let him do that. They could have literally just screamed at him to run. But also, that guy's kind of weak as fuck. He got knocked out from one punch by literal Santa Claus. Kind of cringe. Wouldn't let that happen to me. Just saying. Let's run this logic really quick. You put a bag, a paper brown bag of shit in front of Santa, in, in front of Santa's door three times. And on the third one, he knocks your friend out and drags him into his house and then locks the door. And instead of getting to a safe distance and then calling the cops on your boy, if you really wanted to, you could probably just barge in there and beat his fucking ass. But even if you wanted to play the safe card and call the cops, that would still be better than walking up to his house and as loud as possible, lifting his window. Why would you do that? Are you trying to get dragged in too? This is the fucking second coming of the Diddy party. And you're just trying to get an invite. Oh, dude, there's gonna be a puppy. Oh, Guys, deserved? 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 Kinda. I mean, I don't know if all that was necessary. If somebody put a bag of shit in front of my house, I'd probably just, like, laugh. Laugh.